Okay, Coach. Well, we are about a $50 cab ride away from Midtown Manhattan at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Indianapolis Colts and the New York Jets. The children will grow, and it's the final weekend of summer, but we've got the NFL, and we're underway on EA Sports. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have stayed where he was as he'll only get back to the 16-yard line. Now a carry for the former Michigan State man, Le'Veon Bell. He'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. On second down, it's Bell. Call it an eight-yard gain, much better shape now on third and just a yard. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And, you know, oftentimes the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively. And it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. Now how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. Now they are going for it. Darnold. He's going to air one out for Anderson. He's got it with the 15. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Robbie Anderson, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Point after, right down the middle. And that makes the score 7-0. Now after the touchdown, it's Lachlan Edwards to kick it away. This will be taken in at the 1. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. They'll run it here. This is Marlon Mack. He works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Yeah, this is going to be caught. He won the fight for the football. Now he's going to get this all the way down let's inside go, the go, 35. Go. That one goes for 36 yards. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. From the shotgun, it's Prescott escaping the pressure right. They'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. That one for Indianapolis resulting in 15 yards and a fresh set of downs. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Naeem Hines, his second touchdown on the season as his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. 
Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And for them, a touchdown their last go-around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Give them 12 yards there, and the Jets have a first. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Don't be scared of it. Now Darnold. On the catch, it's Crowder. And oh, he coughed it up. And the Colts pick it up. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. That's probably bringing back nightmares of last week, isn't it? No doubt about it. Right now, I'm looking over at the coaching staff, and I'm seeing the wheels turning in their heads. And you know what is happening? They're remembering how they started the season in camp, even in the offseason where they emphasized ball security, and they're wondering why the message isn't sinking in. They have five turnovers last week, now one here in the opening quarter. This running game so important for them, and they know that. It helped lead them to a victory last week when he was over 100 yards. Let's face it, it's their identity, and that's what they want to play to. They want to be that team that runs the ball really well each and every week, and right now we're seeing a pretty good pattern of that happening. On second down, here's a run with Mack. And this time he's not going anywhere. They'll get him down right at the line of scrimmage. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. Third and one. Here's Prescott. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. So much for the run on third and one. Instead, it's a big chunk in the pass game. First down. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. I still kill. Still kill. 27. Stepping up, he's and he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Dak Prescott, his sixth touchdown of the season. And the Colts have taken the lead. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And that makes the score 14-7. to seven. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over. The other team takes it down and scores. That can be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Now they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. Oh, on second down, it's Bell. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. Trying to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Throwing here on third down, Darnold. And that will fall incomplete. Oh, they took a shot there on what will turn out to be the final play of this first quarter. Second quarter now from MetLife Stadium. The Jets with the football here, but likely not for long as they're in punt formation to kick it away. 
so well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football. They're able to almost stop it where they want to, like a good golfer can check one up. They try and run on first down, but to no avail. Tackle for a two-yard loss in the backfield. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Out of the gun. Here's Prescott. He'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. And he'll get it up a little shy of the 15. They'll spot him down at the 14-yard line. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Third and short yardage. Prescott. That's complete to Hines out of the backfield. And he will have a first down at about the 21-yard line. The drive stays alive. A third down gain of eight. Prescott going to come up first and ten. And he's a perfect five for five here to begin the game. To throw is Prescott. And this one's incomplete. Eric Ebron, the big tight end, is intended target. That'll bring up second down. And that's what he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. From the 21, it's second and 10. Here's Marlon Mack. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. A gain of 11 that time, and a Colts first down. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Prescott now. A good throw here, finding Pascal. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Indianapolis moving the chains there on a gain of 12. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination. Looked pretty good. How about that? They, they, let's, see if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. Another try after the first down sack. Prescott, he'll rifle this one deep. And he fires one that's intercepted. Trevor Williams with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. Then they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, <laughs> realize it hasn't worked go to so well, else. and maybe try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players, and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. Now the throw pulled in by Anderson. That's good for a Jet first down, a gain of 13. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Here's Darnold. He's going to air one out for Anderson. And yeah, this throw will be intercepted. Picked off by Rocky Sin. And a very good return as he'll take it all the way up to the 40-yard line. So cancel the interception, pass interference. And you know what else gets canceled? The return yardage. Makes the play, but now it's all for naught. Now Bell. And they'll be 
driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14-7. to seven. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll head to Orlando. Standing by there, Jonathan Coachman. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL in his second week of the regular season. And there just continues to be nowhere to run. He's bottled up again at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. Now Darnold on third and goal. Being chased out left. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. Emmanuel Agba able to drop him for a loss of two, and that will bring up fourth down. Ficken's kick is good. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. They had it first and goal. Three attempts, couldn't get it in, so they settle for three. Yeah, the field tends to shrink a little bit the closer you get to the goal line, doesn't it? It doesn't sound right. It sounds a little counterintuitive. But you run out of space to run the deep route, so they can just sit on the shorter stuff if you're going to throw it. If you want to run it, there's just not as much space. They end up having to take three there. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down at the 21-yard line. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. You're under a minute to go here in the half. Field position not really in your favor, but still time to try and move the ball and get in field goal range. Yeah, you've got the lead. It's a, definitely a thought. Let's go ahead and try and increase it. But at the same time, I don't like the odds. I don't like where they are on the field. Got the lead. They've done well in the first half. Don't mess it up and go into halftime looking at each other wondering what if. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. And he's got a first down and then some at midfield. And how about that for just running out the clock? Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. So the big play has them all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. Prescott to throw this time. Flushed out right. Campbell making the catch. Now the Colts will use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. From the red zone now, Prescott. Catch made here by Campbell. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Paris Campbell as the first half is winding down. And the Colts, they add on to their advantage. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And that makes it a 21-10 game. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. They'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in this first half. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Darnold now to throw. A screen to Bell. 
Whoosh. Finding room at the 30. And finally, down at the 41-yard line. So we have reached halftime here in an 11-point contest. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, second half ready to get underway. The Colts with a lead, and they will receive the football. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shot at the 23-yard line. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. At the 26-yard line. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Let him know. Let him know. Prescott. Open man completes it to Smith Schuster. And he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. Give the Colts 13 yards and a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now Prescott. That's complete to Marlon Mack. And deep he goes into Jets territory before being taken down. A big play there for Andy. 49 yards. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Juju Smith-Schuster, the intended receiver that time. And that'll bring up second down. Here's Mack. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. Marlon Mack with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Colts, they add on to their advantage. Still plenty of time left in the game, but now starting to pull away a little bit. Get some breathing room with that one. And I don't want people to think that NFL locker rooms are cookie cutter, that everyone's saying the exact same thing in every situation. But I do know that all 32 teams have an emphasis on starting fast, game being on second half no matter what with his first five minutes first three whatever this was a big score to start the second half and all that worked but he stopped where he ultimately would have been and he simply taken a knee and that's the 25 yard line the new york offense taking over for their next possession and their halftime hole now even deeper and they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them they were down at the half now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger, but no time for discouragement. Just... And that's caught inside the 35. And he makes it all the way down to the 31. Big yardage that time for the Jets. 44 yards. He's going to let this go for the end zone. That is caught by Anderson for a Jets touchdown. Robbie Anderson with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Jets are able to cut into this deficit. Extra point splits the uprights, and the lead is down to 11 at 28-17. Now after the touchdown, it's Lachlan Edwards to kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. They were able to extend their lead with an opening drive touchdown here in the third quarter, but that just got matched a moment ago. So we know that what they discussed at the half worked. Now, what are the counters to that, right? You don't just run the same things over and over. Some do, but many will also show something and then come back with something else to keep the defense off balance. Flush to his right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And that is incomplete. 
showed off the arm strength there, but to no avail. Second down. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Here's Prescott. Eluding the pressure right. That's into the hands of Pascal. Sometimes it's designed, and sometimes you just have to know when to leave the pocket and move and make something happen. And on that play, he's able to get on the run and was still accurate throwing the football. They'll run on first down with Marlon Mack. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. They'll go again here with Mack. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Colts 13 yards and a first down. Prescott now six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and ten. Prescott from the gun. He'll find Smith Schuster. That's complete. A gain of 11 that time at a Colts first down. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. On play action, Prescott. Throw left side, complete to Smith-Schuster. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. That one for Indianapolis, resulting in 15 yards and a fresh set of downs. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Give him a couple on the catch, it's second and eight. And partner, I think that was a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. He pitches it. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. It's a gain of six, moves him to a manageable third and two situation. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Colts on third down, a perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. Here it's third and two. He can run for it and he will. And they got three yards. That's enough. A conversion, and now it's first and goal. And what a weapon to have when you can use your quarterback as a short yardage runner and pick up first downs. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll run here with Mack. They'll get this halfway home from the eight to the four on a gain of four. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You take in charge. On second down now. It's Hines, and this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. Check 
Prescott on third and goal. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage, after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. So they settle for just the three, but clearly right now anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off, but it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close. And the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards all told as he's taken down back shy of the 20. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go up and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Now it's Darnold. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Jordan Phillips able to drop him for a loss of four from his defensive tackle spot. Darnold and the Jets come up third and long following the sack. Third and long, it's Darnold. He's going to air one out for Anderson. And that'll wind up incomplete. Bold play call there. Now it's fourth down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. They snap it. They're going for it. Here's Donald. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Malik Hooker. And he will score. Touchdown, Indianapolis. And that one will pretty much erase any hopes of a fourth quarter comeback. With emphasis, interception, return for touchdown. Door closed, locked, reinforced. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. Fresh off the pick six, it's Darnold. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Lamb. That's good for a Jet first down, a gain of 13. Darnold now, 6 for 6 since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and 10. He's going to air one out for it. He's got a man, complete. That goes for a gain of 31. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Rocky Sin, and his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. Charles, whatever's going on between his ears right now, it's just not completely calculated correctly. Seven picks between last week and this week after that one. And they always say the most important part of a player is those six inches between the ears. But right now, it's all those interceptions that are going on. So whoever his trusted confidant is on the sidelines, I don't know if it's the offensive coordinator, the quarterback's coach, maybe the backup quarterback, that's who he needs to get with now and get himself calm. So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. 
And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. On second down. It's Mack, and he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Brent, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there, and now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. Third and long for Prescott. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Defense went 3-4. They got some push from the inside. And this is something in a 3-4 you don't normally get because the nose tackle who got the sack, he's usually responsible or ends up getting double teamed and sometimes triple teamed. How about him working his way back and putting the big guy on the ground? So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. 49-yard punt, five on the return. And the Jets will take over first and ten. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's Make get out of here and do something some other time. But Nowhere to escape and he goes down. Emmanuel Agba able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Darnold and the Jets come up third and long following the sack. Escaping the pressure right. Caught by his tight end, Wesco. And he gets this to the 48, but no further. Well short of the line to gain. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. Let's get it. Whip, 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 whip. Watch the whip. Protein spill. And here we go on fourth. Darnold. Buying time to his left. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Emmanuel Agba. And the Colts are going to get the football in outstanding field position. That game's gone final, by the way, down in New Orleans. And the Cowboys have wound up winning that one. A win would be their first of the young season. Throwing here. Prescott. Going deep to the end zone for Juju. And nearly picked it off. He had a chance to come down with that in the end zone, but it'll wind up just being incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. It's caught inside the 25. And now a fumble. The ball's out, and it's scooped up by the Jets. And that will write a finish to this ball game. Charles, we saw a lot of points go up in this one. Certainly defensively, stuff that they can look at on film, don't you think? No doubt about it. And they've got to go back and check where the errors are, how they're going to fix them, and continue to get better at what they do. But they also need a little adjustment with their confidence. To give up that many points, even if you win a game, that can hurt you. So for the Colts, it was a great all-around performance as they come out of this one with the victory. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to Houston to take on the Texans. Meanwhile, for the Jets, they'll drop to 0-2, and, and they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week.
So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon God. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.